Hello everyone, I'm Bailey Williamson. I'm the winemaker here at Blue Grove's Estate Winery in Cowichan Valley. And today we are going to discuss Black Muscat. Black Muscat is a very exclusive, limited grape variety that I believe we at Blue Grouse are the only commercial growers in all of Canada. We make it in two styles. We make the still and the fortified version. We have less than one acre of black muscat and so it is very limited and we don't make a lot. In the first years we made one barrel of each the dry version and the fortified version. That was the first one in 2012. The Black Muscat has a very interesting heritage. Muscat in general is one of the oldest grape varieties in all of civilization, dating back to the Etruscans in the Tigris Euphrates. And we have it here as the Black Muscat version. It has a number of different names. Black Hamburg Muscat, anyhow. There are countless pseudonyms for this variety. First of all, the dry muscat. So it is like a dry wine and it has all sorts of very interesting notes. A lot of very, very floral and, and fruit notes. I find there's a lot of lychee nut, fresh lychee nut on this. Very interesting wine. It has very soft tannins. So not grippy in any way. What you will want to pair with it is most likely a soft cheese or something that's not too strong. Excellent for your, for your holiday meals. And now the fortified black muscat, made from the same grape. The only difference is that partway through the fermentation, we stop the sugar converting to alcohol by adding neutral grain spirit. That increases the alcohol content and maintains a lot of the sugar. With that now, you have a port style wine. Port is a protected term, so we're not able to use that. So we call it fortified. It has a much richer nose and because a lot of it is aged longer in barrel, it has a more complex and more developed caramel and cocoa. The history of this starts when Paul Bruner first purchased the winery and we were looking at the Black Muscat and wondering that perhaps it might make a very nice fortified wine. So we made one barrel. And that led to a second barrel the next year. So we made one barrel every year up until 2019. And at that point, we decided to put the blend together. So it's a non-vintage blend with portions from every vintage since 2012. This is a Solera system, which is more common in sherry than it is in port. But we did that just because we had limited volumes of it. And also, you take some from the first barrel and then it is topped up from the next vintage and then successively down the line, a domino effect, if you will. That happens so that you can then keep adding some of the oldest barrel and the character that that brings into every blend of this wine. This is definitely a dessert wine because of the high sugar content. It would go really well with your cheese board again, um, and even some stronger cheese like, uh, like some saint or blue cheese, whatever you like. It would also go very nice with a chocolate gateau of some type. Enjoy it for the holidays.